There is a new update out from PixArk and this is a list what they put in new and what they have fixed in PixArk. It's the 1.9 version and with no delay let's start and let's see what they did. Welcome back to PixArk. Today we're gonna have a little word over the new update, the 1.9. What is new? What is fixed? What did they do? And what? Nah, not what are they gonna do in the future? That we don't know for the moment. But anyway, I was flying to my new base. Yeah, I'm working on it. And I'm going to continue working on it in the hope that I get some things finished while we talk about the update. Oh, over there is this. Well, anyway, official servers are now battle eyes enabled. So that means you can't cheat anymore. That's a nice thing that I added. I think it's, yeah, it has to be the way that it has to be. I mean, why cheating? Why, do, why doing that? I mean... You have to play the game because it's you like it, you have fun with it and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, just play the game as uh, how you how you should play it. Anyway, well, by the way, this is my new base. I made uh, the ground plat uh, form, the, yeah, yeah, the drawing <laughs> and I'm filling it in uh, with some Find stone but anyway we're going we go further with the large crop plot can now be passworded so you can put a pin code or a password on it so that's nice nobody else can get into it so that isn't bad either that are the new things that are added in uh, yeah in Pixar so why can't I okay then what have you with the rest? Uh, task missions interface in the end menu has been sized down a bit and should no longer cut off the world in the tasks. So that means you can see things a little bit better. So isn't bad at all. Then we go to uh, no longer able to see creature info details during terrain collision. So okay. I didn't bother that, but hey, they fixed it or they, or it is new. So yeah, good job guys. <laughs> and it's Russian language. Well, the Russians are gonna be very pleased. Now they know that our, their language is in ARC, fix ARC. And then the, the last one they uh, did with optimat optimization is reduced damage to players from wild creatures by 25%. Well, that's a pretty nice thing. I mean, I had one episode, yeah, they are just too OP. I mean, one bite and, and, and you are dead. Uh, it, it's really, yeah, it's really, yeah. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> just that. It really sucks. Uh, let's see, we're gonna take these flowers away. Okay. And then we go further with our foundations then what did they all fixed the previous were optimization now what did they fixed they fixed issues with the crop seeds disappearing after leaving render range so that was in indeed a problem and it sucks but now they fixed it so it should all work better now fix an issue with ripe, cre ripe creature limits after transforming into a werewolf well, didn't test that one out, but I bet it was a problem. And oh, are there? I'm out. Okay, gonna take new one. When you're out, you have to take new one. Okay, and we go further. Uh, then we have fixed issue with disappearing weapons when using the gunsmith bench when overrated. Okay. I uh, didn't encounter that one, but yeah, I can see the problem with that. I mean, you put your boxes close to, so you can craft a lot of stuff. So you are pretty, pretty fast overweighted. 
Now the next one is fixed an issue with some procedural quests not able to complete it. <laughs> well, I didn't have any problems with that. The only problems that I had was I just read them wrong. <laughs> But anyway, they fixed that, so that's also pretty nice. Then they fixed an issue uh, with uh, pix blocks able to be forced used in the museum. Well, I didn't make the portal yet, so I didn't went to the museum, so didn't encounter that. But it's nice that they fixed it. Then they have fixed an issue with water blocks being used to murder on land. Okay, so I didn't know you could do that. Water blocks being used to murder on land. Okay, nice for the one who found that one out. But they fixed the issue, so you can't do it anymore. So, <laughs> yeah, you're too late. <laughs> uh, then they fixed an issue with inability to place blocks directly under a bed. Okay, so uh, you couldn't place blocks under a bed, so now you can. So that means you can raise your bed, I think. Fix an issue with the inability to craft certain furniture items in the Mage Academy type blocks. Okay, there was a fault in there, they fixed it. Fix an issue with map having a chance to bug out, resulting in players being stuck of creatures disappearing. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That one, that is nice that they fixed that, so I hopefully, hopefully I don't get uh, stuck anymore. That would be, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Fix an issue with overhead displays for certain structures, such as weapon rack, being unable to be displayed on some cases. Well, I didn't build a weapon rack, so I yeah I don't know what was wrong with that, but they explained it that yeah that there were uh, they didn't display it. Okay, the overhead displays. Fix an issue with electric rod doing damage to certain structures. Okay, so the electric rod did some damage to the structures, and they fixed all that. That means that it doesn't do any damage. I, I bet it doesn't do any damage anymore. But didn't have the chance to craft that. I could go in creative, but guys, really, I want to play the game like, yeah, like like everyone else. So yeah, sorry, I don't do much creative. Then we have uh, fixed an issue with itemization from beacon drops okay that's for uh, the multiplayer i don't do that i'm in single player mode stone ceiling i am through well that are 100 so normally okay i have still some more blocks nice then they uh, fixed uh an issue with the wild quetzal all be AI, AI behavior. Sorry. So uh, the quetzal's AI behavior, they fixed that. Well, I don't think I'm gonna like that one because <laughs> I pretty much like the AI, AI from the quetz. I mean, it was easy to tame. They got stuck, and you could tame them. So yeah, now I wonder how they will behave now. <laughs> I hope still the same, but I bet it's been fixed and they fly spawn in probably much higher, so they fly a little bit higher. I think. I didn't uh, test that one out yet. Then, uh, fixed an issue with aquatic creatures taking fall damage when player leaves render range. Okay, yeah. If you leave the render range, you can't see it, so I don't know how they caught up to that but hey they fixed it fixed issue with ai movement for aquatic creatures so there was also a problem with the ai for aquatic creatures and they fixed it also well i'm not yet into aquatic creatures but i will be pretty soon i hope then they also fixed an issue with let's see 
all movement. Oh no, the, we had just that. The aquatic creatures. Creatures spawning in bases after service restarts. Okay. So, there are no creatures spawning in your base anymore. So, that's, uh, that's also pretty good. Imagine that you are building in uh, the magic forest, for example. And there is a shadow leopard or something else spawning into your base. Uh, I don't know why you would build over there, but hey, you know, some guys really like the challenge. And yeah, I would like the challenge also, but not right now, I would say. Then they have uh, fixed an issue with the model collision on the alchemy furnace. Okay, so... I don't have that furnace yet, so didn't encounter that problem. Then they fixed an issue with posi positioning of Rex Saddle, Sauropod Saddle and Armadillo Saddle. Nah, none of those animals, so I couldn't know how the position was. But I did some... Well, Sauropod Saddle wasn't that bad. Because I did that one in creative. But... Eh, strange. Then uh, they fixed an issue with train cards in a inability to probably controlled okay so you can't you couldn't control the train cards now you can i guess but i mean it's pix arc it's dinos why the hell would you have a train i mean why i don't know i'm using animals the animals are my train so i have no railing no stuff to do like that i can go wherever i want Unless they get killed, and I'm a specialist in that also, so yeah. Then they also fixed an issue with the bone wand damage being irregular. Well, I don't have the bone wand, I have the wooden one. I'm betting it's this. I don't have the bone yet, but I'm loving this one. Yeah, I'm out of resources, so I'm flying uh, nicely back. We go into this mode, and then we can see... As you guys can see, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty big base for water creatures and other stuff. And I still have to build one extra tower over there. I'm gonna make a bridge, uh, a lot of stuff to do over here. But you guys see, I'm busy with that. Then let's see, uh, they fixed an issue with certain structures in the ruins blocked creature damage. Okay, so now you probably can damage creatures, uh, tr uh, not through a block, but to a through a gap, I bet. Or I hope, because then it makes yeah, a little bit sense for me going into the dungeons. Then they also fixed an issue with the rafts disappearing under particular conditions. So the rafts, they were uh, yeah, disappearing when something happens or happened and I fixed all that I didn't build a raft right yet maybe that's uh, for my next episode or for my upcoming episode I don't know who knows I'm not knowing what I'm gonna do then but anyway guys that were the issues they fixed and the new stuff they put in one thing that I remember is that the official servers are now battle height enabled so that means you can't cheat or pretty much you can't cheat that's what I make out of it and then uh, the other one is reduced damage to players from wild creatures by 25% that's also a nice thing I guess that they did because now you probably have a chance to win and not to die continuously and yeah, lose your birds continuously who knows who knows who knows but anyway guys that's for today that's the update from 1.9 uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I did a little bit work of my new base so I'm happy also and I would say see you in my next vid maybe in my let's play and bye <laughs>